Hello, uh, very good morning. So um, today I'll talk about the midweek on the stock that I'm looking at. Um, there are Baba, Grab, Net. There's some comparison between Tesla, you know, Neo, Neo, and Lee. And of course, uh, I'll be looking at the regional, at the bank uh, ETF as well to get some indication. So as usual, uh, let's recap on the uh, 1st of May. Uh, on the May itself, what is the overall direction? So if you look into the S&P average monthly gain, uh, April month is always a much better month. And May is although a positive, but it's a more difficult month than April. Therefore, the um, themes of this month is to exercise cautious. Yeah, the April month itself, if you look into this S&P average monthly gain from 1950 to 2023 is about 1.5%, where May is about near to uh, less than one third. The other topic I want to share is on the Fed rate monitoring tool. And then we'll move in into some of the interesting stock recently, like Alibaba, which I have uh, covered in my previous uh, uh, YouTube together with Grab. And I started a new one that is uh, Net, which is Cloudflare. And then Tesla, which I covered before. But this time round, I will do a comparison with Neo, uh, Li, and uh, Salpen. And lastly, on uh, the finance ETF plus a summary. Okay. So it's very important to know that for today, uh, there will be a federal meeting. And if you look into the May 3rd, uh, probability of uh, how the market is viewing on a uh, Fed. Overall, there's a high chance of probability of 92.5% that there is a 0.25% uh, hike, and this is a given. So if today the meeting talk about 0.25, that is given. That is uh, what the market is expecting. And if you look into the uh, September probability, you can see that there is a uh, higher and higher, this blue bar, of 4.75 to 5 percent which means that in september the overall market is looking at a probably a 0.25 percent uh so-called uh rate cut yeah so this is the market expectation of uh the interest rate and the interest rate have a high bearing onto the uh, nasdaq stock the tech stock okay so in short third may today 0.25 percent high is given 20 September expectation is a reduction of uh, of uh, 2.5, 0.25, sorry, 0.25%. And uh, if there's any changes from this expectation, then, you know, the market will be surprised. And when it's surprised, uh, it can go either direction, depending whether there is a rate hike or there is a more drastic rate cut. Yeah. So in between May and September, there is June, July. So there's two more meetings. After September, there's November and December. So this information can be found in this two link, Investing and uh, Atlanta Fed. I will put them inside my link uh, so that you can go there and take a look at yourself. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Alibaba. So Alibaba, as mentioned, price lash in my previous YouTube and uh, there is also an area that uh, uh, they are having a price lash, which means that they are going to uh, win the pen more market penetration. There is about uh, talk about splitting into six company, and therefore Alibaba. If you also look into their free cash flow, is uh, the Q three is going much more higher. Yeah, so. Today, I have revisit, you know, the range that I talked about in uh, 80 to 83. So the next uh, areas that it is a next support will be in this range, right? So Alibaba have uh, institution fund like Goldman Sachs and uh, Morgan Stanley. There's one of their holder and Vanguard fund as well, right? So I'll be monitoring Alibaba much more closely. And if you want to look into my past uh, uh, so-called analysis of this, uh, probably I'll, I'll put in my YouTube link in there as well. Yeah, in short, Alibaba report is coming in in 23 days time. In the last uh, discussion on Grab, I have uh, closed my Grab uh, share about 2.9 and uh, meantime, I have no intention to go back into the Grab uh, 
trading. So you can refer to my YouTube video on 26 April on the grad analysis as well. Uh, instead, I have uh, start to monitor Cloudflare, right? So if you are interested to understand more about Cloudflare in my coming analytics, please also subscribe. Yeah, I will share with my share with you my analysis. So Cloudflare, if you compare it with Nasdaq, Nasdaq have a slight outward, but Cloudflare have a big drop. And the reason was uh, in this uh, financial report, earning report, uh, you have a, you have a lesser, you have a lesser type of a uh, uh, report versus the market expectation. Secondly, there was a revised guidance, and the net loss of thirty eight million versus the previously, which is forty one million. So for this itself, I believe net fair will be also very much affected by how the Fed will increase or reduce their interest rate. And institutional buyers for this company are Bali and uh, Vanguard. And Cloudflare do have a very high uh, institutional and fund uh, ownership as well. I think it's above 70%. So if you look into the net income, right, uh, revenue have rise, but income is still in negative. And in the quarterly itself, although you know there's a slight growth in revenue, but the income is still on negative. And of course, in terms of the cash flow, you start to actually come down, right? So the one over here is related to the one here, where you see there's a drop of uh, more than 20% in one day. Lastly, the grab report will be coming out in 17 days. I think at this moment, I, for grab itself, I will take a... a, a a, a glance, but I won't be actually doing any trading. I'll be observing its trend first. On Tesla, um, remember if you look into Tesla early this year, um, Tesla on January have reported that it slashed the price by twenty percent. And if you look into the April time frame, Tesla have talked about slashing price by seven times. So if you look into the overall, when Tesla slashed the price, in fact, uh. It was still, you know, it was still up 49.32% by this year, right? But the impact of Tesla slashing ply, it means that Lee, Salpen and Neo will be under a lot of pressure because uh, if you can buy Tesla at a price slash of more than 20%, will you buy Salpen, Lee and uh, Neo, right? So on that itself, it have actually a, a market penetration onto these three uh, uh EV vehicle stock, you know. And you can see that for new, actually it was coming strong early this year, but now it is the weaker among, you know, the three of them. Yeah. And Lee seems to be the one that is much more hovering above. Perhaps I mean Lee is uh, having a much better pricing point in terms of the uh, uh consumer market. That's where even where there's a price lash in Tesla is still able to uh hold its price. Lastly, I think something that is more uh, positive to the EV uh, company in China is uh, the interest rate have been in reduction mode. And I think at 3.65%, there's still way to go for the China Central Bank to reduce its uh, interest rate, to implement monetary policy, to help, their, to help the, the local company to fight against you know, competition and also with the head swing in the market. New earning in 37 days, Li earning coming in on eight, 8 more days. I think that will be a good time to look at indication of how the uh, performance of these three companies against Tesla price lash and Salpern is in the uh, next 20 days. On the bank support, uh, I'm looking into SLF and I would suggest that this support line is very important. If there is a break in the support line of SLS, which cover, which actually is uh, holding most of all these uh, financing stock, then in the regional bank, I think that uh, situation may worsen, right? Um, so at this moment, I think the uh, we have to observe carefully whether there is a breakout of this support, and if there is, I will be very very concerned, right? on how the market is uh, affecting and how that will affect S&P. So in short, 
QQQ uh, support is 312 to 314. Um, it had been raised uh, previously because uh, due to my previous analysis, where the percent of stock above 200 moving average is not so high as well. And then the resistance have uh, moved out to 330. That is in due to that. If today the bank is having a turmoil and we are not looking into a big correction, then of course uh, indices like QQQ will probably be uh, supported. Uh, Baba support 80 is uh, nearly bridged and the net support is 72 and the resistance is at 92. And for Tesla, it's uh, in between 144 to 160 support. Uh, Tesla, there's always a wide range because uh, typically the volatility, the movement of Tesla is uh, pretty uh, huge, you know, compared to the rest of the other stock that I have covered. And 210 is the resistance point. Um, in short, I think the uh, areas that are very important to see is what is the bank impact. You know, uh, First Republic is now also taken over by uh, Morgan, J I think JP, Mor JP. And if there is a broken of uh, the support in uh, fin SLF Finance ETF, potentially uh, uh, close to a 14 correction may happen on the S&P. <clears throat> Just a quick uh, disclaimer, this is based on personal opinion. Short-term trade that is intra to about four weeks period. Uh, and if you like uh, what I have shared, you know, please uh, like it, do some comment, share, and subscribe. And if in any of the areas that I'm doing some analysis on Sunday and typically on Sunday and Wednesday, you will get uh, the notification from me. And thanks for watching. Uh, trade carefully. Uh, as mentioned, May will not be a much more easier month than April. Thank you.